In video number five of IMG Baseball Academy's developmental series of outstanding infield play, we're going to talk about the proper technique when fielding a ground ball. Now, when we discuss the proper technique, a lot of it becomes involved in a lot of different ways. We're talking not only about just receiving the baseball the proper way, we're also talking about the transfer. Once we get the ball into our glove, how do we get it into our throwing circle? After we get in incorporating all of that into our play, we're also talking about the proper footwork after. Now, before we get into the proper technique of fielding a ground ball, let's go over a few examples of what not to do. The first example, we're going to talk about boxing the baseball. When the ground ball is coming, you go out and aggressively go out and get the ball with your hands. One thing we definitely don't want to do. The second part, we're going to talk about sweeping the ground ball from left to right, aggressively well, out to your arm circle. The third and last one, we're going to talk about funneling the baseball. That's aggressively bringing our arms from both sides, right to left, to be able to field that ball and get it in a poor nature directly in front of our chin. Now let's see it done the right way when executing. First, let's talk about our initial setup with our legs. We're always going to tell our guys to take short, choppy steps to the ball, and it's going to be a right foot down first, left foot follow, glove down to catch. So after we do our right, left, and catch, now let's focus on our hand position. The best thing to focus on here is our wrist position. Notice how our wrist is connected in a line with our elbow and our forearm, all in the same line when fielding a ground ball directly in front of our chin. A couple of examples of poor positioning would be having too steep of a wrist elevated in front of our glove, providing way too much surface area when fielding a ground ball, or having a negative approach of having your wrist too close to the ground, more or less having a ski ball effect of having the ball roll up your arm when making a play. Now when the ball is coming in, let's focus on our transfer. When the ball comes in, we are now focusing on transferring the ball left to right outside of our body. The toughest part is for the amateur baseball player is in the coordination of getting the ball out to his throwing circle and getting his footwork in place to make a strong throw. Now let's see it done in full speed. So in full speed here, we're gonna notice all the technique that Edgar is doing in proper way. When he's getting himself started, notice his shuffle steps, right foot, left foot down, right foot, left foot throw. Those are a couple of talking points we always like to tell our guys, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. He's keeping some momentum through the baseball, never coming to a complete dead stop, Again, right foot, left foot down. Notice how his body weight is shifting as his hands are coming out in front and out to the side to get himself ready to throw the ball properly with the right throwing circle. That concludes video number five where we worked on mastering the routine ground ball. But in our next video, we're gonna go outside of the routine and work on the backhand. <laughs>